Hello viewers, uh, welcome to Mojo for Industry and uh, we are uh, pleased to join by Mr. Avijit Sina. He is the Program Director for Ease of Doing Business in India as well as he is the Project Director for National Highway EV. When you talk about e-mobility and uh, we can expect a kind of surge in power demand as well. So how we are going to meet the power demand and how do you see the you know, uh, a kind of uh, energy mix going to happen? How renewable energy is going to play a critical role to meet the power demand for electric mobility? It's a very good question and uh, I believe the, the point of change, the point of adoption is going to go two way from here. Either we are going to add solar or renewable power to the grid and then grid is going to supply to mobility or panels are going to get installed with the utilities, charging station, charging point, rooftop. So it is scattered into many different different units and they all together contribute to charges directly. Both of these are in knowledge of stakeholders the parent ministries and I am sure that maybe one would go better than other. There is no comparison, maybe both of them may go together. But uh, adoption of mobility, the energy which is coming to mobility, it is going to be renewable, it is going to be very soon net zero, not only partially zero and, and this, is, this is the way industry is going to go ahead. So yesterday, uh, uh, your uh, road transport minister, Mr. Nitin Gadkari, has launched a couple of uh, projects. Can you throw some light on that? What exactly are those projects, and uh, how uh, you are being part of that? So we we are doing a pilot on Delhi Jaipur and Delhi Agra to make these charging stations solar powered. But uh, the ways I told you, it may be either uh, the the contribution of power to be grid or. A, a certain amount of uh, power can be generated on the station also. So the miniature which uh, we were fortunate to have uh, uh, Honorable Minister Road Transport and Highway uh, to reveal the miniature was also having certain um, amount of min uh, solar panels to contribute to the utility of the station. And these stations will not only be uh, you know, uh, contributing into net zero, but their construction their uh, structure is also going to be carbon emission free and their net zero environment transaction is very less. It is not taking anything from environment, it is not giving anything to environment and when the, even the toilets are biodegradable. So the, these are the kind of utilities which as a nation we need and they, they need to be uh, financially, economically, utilization wise, break even wise viable. So these stations are not only uh, the future we are going to compete with petrol pumps but also going to make a viable business case. So these kind of reform where government has been very very clearly and kind and clear that there is no license required for setting up charging station. So can you imagine the kind of uh, you know uh, momentum and impetus it can bring to people who were lined up for taking a petrol pump. But now they will be able to, without lines, they will be able to set up a charging station. Uh, safety, standardization and <coughs> layout, these are the obvious things which, which one have to have for these stations. So our uh, thought of, of doing so on Delhi Jaipur and Delhi Agra is basically making a charging station compatible and comparable in commercial equivalence, technical equivalence, standard equivalence to a petrol pump. And these, these stations will also be in future will be you know contributing and and discharging from the solar uh, sources from and they also will have uh, hydrogen um, vending machines so that in future when hydrogen becomes the mainstream uh, program mainstream uh, fuel for large trucks particularly then these station will be able to dispense hydrogen and other fuel cell from there so, uh, can you let us know more about the execution plan and the uh, uh, how long uh, it's going to take to be uh, live? Execution plan is very simple. The trial is into second phase. Delhi Agra uh, trial has already conducted in 2020-21 and 2020-22 we are doing Delhi in Jaipur. So in first phase of trial we tried to manage the, uh, the key areas of concern like people who are traveling with uh, electric vehicle on highways they always have this concern that how what will happen who will come to help them if, if something happens to their vehicle they break down on a highway out of city even if some help came then they will not be able to you know uh, repair an electric vehicle. So first uh, part we try to do four things in within 30 minutes every vehicle can be given a backup. Second part which we try to do in the in, in the first trial is every uh, charger which is uh, being installed there on, on National Highway EV it should have 
30 percent minimal utilization and committed utilization so that as a business model it should not go haywire and since it's an ease of doing business pilot so we particularly pay more attention to make it bankable, fundable and interest of uh, investors, FDI is to be kept in the center stage. Third part, third uh, uh, takeaway of first trial is um, we wanted that, that people who are coming in the business, they look at electric mobility as a service because our next generation is going to look at electric mobility as a service, not as a product. So, maybe my son would be more, more happy to get a vehicle for the city ride and when he is going outside, he can get cars for elect electric cars the way we get it in Europe. So, their, their concept of this coming generation millennial uh, stage is very, very different. They want to look at mobility as a service and for this it is very important that we can, we will be able to give vehicle to, you know, users on, on uh, rent basis for the intercity ride. So, Delhi Jaipur and Delhi Agra will be the first pilot where you will be able to take a vehicle on a lower price, higher facilities, more luxurious car, not like Innova or Swift Desire, but a vehicle like Nexon and EV, Nexon or MG ZS EV or uh, Kona. So, these are the vehicles who are conducting trial now in the second phase with us. And, and third part, the last part which we conducted into first uh, trial is uh, how do we make this business profitable? But when it comes to charging station, setting up charger, it is very, very difficult for uh, for anybody to, to understand how and what kind of business it will create. If you look at petrol pumps, they are very sorted. They have their you know designs and their layout, their funding agency, how much you will earn out of that. Everything is there. But when you look at charging station, it is difficult to predict. So, we were not sure that how much it is going to come, but 36 to 40 months were our, you know, pinpoint where we can, we can do our uh, completion and 36 to 40 months is actually came out as a, you know, break even point for the entire capex which investors will be investing on these charging station. So, altogether these four things uh, were conducted in the first Delhi and Agra trial run. Now, second part of trial which is Delhi and Jaipur, it is bringing four more different things and these four things are how much you are going to pay for, for an electric car if you are if you are going from Delhi and, and Jaipur for one day. So, that consumer can compare between electric car and a cab which they are going from you know, petrol or diesel. And second, how much you are going to pay for one seat in electric bus is the part of the second Delhi Jai Jaipur trial. And third, uh, how much uh, cost it is taking to upgrade these type of highway. So, when we say charging station, it is not standalone, it, it has to be two, have two cities and a certain number of vehicle and a stretch to deliver uh, e-mobility. So, these stations are going to cost with the technology, with the you know networking and other thing on, on a basis of per kilometer. So, how much cost India is going to pay or we are going to spend on this to upgrade much 500 kilometer highways into e-highway. That is the third takeaway which will come out from this and the fourth one is uh, very, very important because it is time to understand and reach to net zero. So, all these stakeholders and all these uh, uh, you know, um, components when they are carried together, we, we reach to a place where we can say, okay, it is net zero. So, each vehicle how much it is contributing into one year as a net zero or how much it is saving from the carbon emission is the fourth takeaway from this. So, after this trial, we will be getting into the allocation. Allocation will be on the preferential basis. It is a PPP model. So, few station will be go to, will be you know, uh, owned by uh, government agency, few will be owned by the private. We, we also want people to participate into it. So, that is the phase which is rest and then within 90 days we look at the, the kind of infrastructure we have developed. Within 90 days one station can be you know uh, commissioned and it can be operational. So, by 20, uh, 23 March you can see all, all this coming started coming on the on the ground. Uh, thank you so much sir for sharing detailed insight on uh, electrical industry in India and what, what sort of uh, transformation is going to happen in the years to come for the segment of uh, transportation and mobility. Thank you so much. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.